Hi guys, welcome back to another budget guitar show. Now, I did a poll recently where I told you I was going to be actually purchasing another guitar which came from my YouTube revenue. Well, I got my first amount of YouTube revenue and I put out the poll of four different guitars. And uh, th there was a couple that were neck and neck for a while. Um, but let's see which guitar I actually picked. Okay guys, so here it is. This is the FDC418BK Faisley Junior Style Guitar. Now, there are a few reasons why I chose this. So, I'll tell you about them right now. So yeah, I chose this particular guitar for a couple of reasons really. Um, firstly, because um, some of the other ones I had on the list uh, were Telecaster shaped guitars. And I have an abundance of Telecaster shaped guitars now. Um, so I didn't really feel that uh, getting another one for my collection would be... Um, a really good thing to do. But that said, I still may buy that Faisley Telecaster in green. We don't know yet. Another reason for it is I wanted something that would be a good modding platform. And um, because I only have the one junior at the moment, which is the Johnny Thunders one up in the back, um, I thought I would get this one and use it as a modding platform by, you know, eventually changing out pickups, uh, some of the hardware, um, you know, just basically making it my own. And of course, another reason was, of course, the cost, the expense of this guitar. Now, admittedly, when I purchased this, it was £78. And um, that really benefited me uh, with the amount of revenue that I made in that three month period since becoming monetized. Uh, now, at the moment on their site, it's retailing back up to £83. Now, why is that? Uh, quite simply because when I purchased this guitar, it was in their sale. But now, at full price, it's £83. Now, I have to say this, £83 for a double cut junior you're not going to get a bargain like that anywhere else so don't just think to yourself well for 83 pounds it's not going to be any good well today we're going to take a look at this and see if it is okay let's just take a quick rundown of some of the features on this guitar so it is a 22 fretter with six strings you have a wrap around bridge just there which has the kind of uh, intonation already worked out on there uh, that seems pretty good uh, the actual fretboard itself is made of poplar and the body and the neck are made of mahogany weight wise it feels like a junior um, it just has a really cool weight to it. Um, you know, it doesn't feel as cheap as a guitar of this price point should feel. Uh, you have a C-shaped profile neck. And if we take a look at this nice little tool I have here, which comes, thank you to Dave Lewis. If we have a look at this, is your profile on the first fret and here is your neck profile which is all the way up at the joint so you can see it's a kind of chunky but nice and usable neck but of course what we've got to get down to is how does it sound well I've got her plugged into the Marshall Valve State VS19R and uh, we're going to check out some clean tones, so let's do that now.
Now, I think as you can hear from that, there were some really nice piercing tones coming out of that single P90, having the uh, tone control all the way up to 10. And then as I tried it and backed it down, there were some nice rounded sort of tones coming out, so you don't have to have it that kind of harsh. I think for the price point, it really, really works clean. I do like the sound of that clean. So let's uh, switch on the Behringer Tube Amp Modeler and let's see what we get distorted out of this puppy. And as you could hear there, uh, the first sort of distorted test I did, everything was on 10. And uh, yeah, I am using the tube amp modeler. Um, and there is a sort of mid-level uh, mid uh, distortion on the pedal at the moment. And yeah, it sounded very, very overdriven, of course, in that first test. But the reason I did it like that is so that once I was backing off 
on the tone control on the guitar you could hear how nicely rounded that was becoming and then when I did the tests backing off on the volume you could hear how well it took away some of that distorted tone and made it sound more like a junior guitar with a cranked amp would sound so I think out of this and with the right kind of pedal this pickup will give you that variation where you can go from a high gainy uh, sort of heavy heavy rock sound and bring it all the way back down with the tone and volume controls to a more sort of punky type sort of classic rocky type sound that the junior is known for I think for the price point of £83 this is absolutely superb now as I said in the coming few months I will be doing some mods to this guitar as that is why I have bought it but I think it really does sound good I'm just going to do a couple more little sound bites on the uh, distorted and clean channels with a bit of delay so let's see how that sounds And so there we have it guys the Faisley FDC 418 BK a mahogany guitar poplar fretboard 1P90 wraparound bridge one tone one volume control a nice weight to it and uh, I do really think it's really good as a modding platform this is going to be a fantastic fantastic guitar for 83 pounds where are you gonna get something like this you're just not gonna get it anywhere else there is a link down below in the description to this guitar if you wish to check one out for yourself for me it looks beautiful I love the fact that the lines of the shape are so defined I really really like it and it is thanks to everybody who watches this channel that I now have this guitar so keep watching the videos guys 
Okay, thanks everybody for watching the show today. Now, don't forget you can become a budget backer or you can purchase a t-shirt. Uh, our backers and patrons are right here. Thank you to you guys. And if you want to watch another video from this channel, there's one right up here. And remember, stay sane, stay safe, and keep rocking.